Some very kind friends gave me this uh, as a birthday present recently. It's an ID Venture puzzle box. I guess it's called Happy Birthday, I think. And apparently it has three riddles in it. Oh, and it's personalized. I'm not sure what that means. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Ooh. Okay. So this came from Crux Puzzles, I guess. So we get a card and their sticker. And it says, thank you for choosing our puzzle box. You can find the instructions for opening the box here. Okay. And then we have a bunch of numbers. Oh, okay, I'm not quite sure. I think this means this is so that you can set it to a particular number of birthday. So I notice the zero is missing here, which I guess is this zero here. All right, so let's have a look. It's a really, really lovely object. Very, very beautiful. Oh, I think it's got something inside it, maybe. Okay, so let's see. Um, we can turn this just ever so slightly, but it gets blocked by these things, which I guess don't come out. Um, there's some kind of gearing in there, and then this says something. I think that says love, does it? Uh, that one says dance. That one also says love. So how do we turn these? Ooh, so we turn this at the bottom. So this turns, and we have a bunch of pieces in there. Oh, okay. So that does that pop out through this gap, maybe? Hmm. I guess these are candles, right? These are birthday cake candles. The whole thing is like a birthday cake, right? Okay, maybe we're meant to put the candles in here and then it'll do something. Is that the idea? So, ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, we just have to get the right shape lined up. Oh, there's a little picture of a mouth in there. So see, that isn't quite right. That one's right. So I should let the second candle out. Oh, it's a bit stiff. <laughs> oh, I don't want to damage it. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's two candles. And there's a picture. What's that one? Is that a little person dancing, maybe? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Uh, and then this is the third one, which I think is really stiff. I'm not sure this is going to come out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's meant to, though, given that the other two did. Ah, okay, that's loosened it a bit. There we go. Okay, so we have all three candles out. I think the candles are basically identical to each other, are they? I think so. And they sort of slot in here. Oh. Maybe they're not identical. Ah, I see. No, the uh, they have these little feet on them, and those are not identical. So those go into particular holes. This one goes there. Ah, I see. And then this one goes here. Yep. Oops. That one goes in there. And then this one goes in there. Okay, so now we can turn them to say different things. So this one has love, sing, uh, oh, it's a bit stiff there, smile, oh, dance. Okay, love, sing, smile, and dance. Are they all going to be the same? This one, yeah, loves sing, smile, and dance. And this one also loves sing, smile, and dance. So, oh, wait. Oh, I see. <laughs> the answers are on here, right? So, uh, okay, okay. So, uh, 
there's sing, there's dance, that I guess is smile. Sing and dance, yep. So we need to match up the width of the gaps between the legs with the little image. So um, let's see, this is the furthest one. So the one, the one with the widest gap is the mouth. The one with the narrowest gap is dance. Okay. So let me see which was the narrowest gap. That's this one. So this should be dance. That's there. Um, the widest gap. I've forgotten what I said now. Yeah, the widest gap is probably smile, I suppose. Yeah, that's smile, isn't it? Yeah. So that's. Uh, that's there, smile. And then the middle one is, I think, sing. We don't use love. Uh, sing. Okay, so I think those are all set now. So there's something left up. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that! I've got some star mix. Oh, wow. So there we go, that is a really lovely, sweet little puzzle box. Um, really nice mechanism. I love how these work. They fit these candles in and they make the uh, cogs turn. Let's just see how that works. Ah, oh, there we go. You can see the locking mechanism on there as well. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what the deal with these numbers is. Uh, Okay, I see. You set what the birthday number is in there. So they've started with a zero just in case. And then let's imagine I was, I don't know, 30, for example. Ugh. Then I would put this. I'm not 30, by the way. <laughs> uh, I would put this where in there? Yeah, I see. There, yeah, so you can say it says happy birthday and then you can set the actual birthday year in there. That's a really nice little puzzle. It's quite easy, but it's um, really, really a nice mechanism. Very, very beautiful. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.